Hello everyone, I am Dan Stapleton and with me is Peter Holtzefold, game director at Jaeger. Yeah, glad to be here. And he's showing off, uh, this is Dreadnought, yeah. which is a game about uh, giant spaceships shooting each other. <laughs> which <laughs> that is, kind of sums it up. Yeah. It's right up my alley. And it, it's, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit different from you know most of the kind of uh, space fighter-y, star citizen kind of things in that they're, they're bigger and, and uh, you slower know, cap and capital more ships. guns and more yeah. explosions. Yeah, b bigger, heavy, heavy hitter ships. Yeah. And it's a five-on-five, -five, free-to-play yeah. uh, uh, combat game. Yeah. And actually, mo most of these, what I've seen so far, have taken place in atmosphere, right? All, mm -hmm. Most of these matches. Um, oh, this, this is in, you know, above the, the planet, but this is just like the, the pre-staging area. Yeah, pre-staging area where you meet your other team right. members and actually can check with their setups what kind of ship they're taking to the battle. So kind of a connection point before you jump into atmosphere. So we get to pick our class here, right? Yeah. If you so want to, currently right. you have the Millennium Falcon Corvette, kind of the fastest class of the ship. Right. And um, yeah, if you hit C, you can also select other ships if you want to switch around. Let's take a look. So th this one you, you say is kind of the Millennium Falcon style just because uh -huh. it's fast and maneuverable. Uh, but you also have like this guy. Big what Dreadnought. Oh, what happened there? A, yeah. Oh. Actually, there's a counter because this is a oh, setup okay. for the PAX on show floor demo. All right. Well, um, we ran so out of time. You have like 20. 20 seconds to select your class. Sorry, I should have told you before. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. But, uh, okay, so now we're in atmosphere, yeah. and we can fly around and uh, shoot some do some yeah. dudes. It's a, it's a good ship to actually yeah. take a look around uh, the landscape and take it all in. Yeah, so it's not... The controls. Oh, uh oh don't crash. It's <laughs> also the ship that actually goes down really quickly, so yep. be careful. Yeah, it's kind of the, the scout. Mm, exactly. And, yeah, right off the bat, we've got, a, we've got this great big uh, battle here going on. Yeah, there's so a little cruiser up in the air. You can pick that one off. This one is one of the larger ships. Destroyer. This one up here, huh? Yeah, this oh, one's good. Looks yeah. like somebody beat me to him. Wow. Yeah. Already, already got some some nice uh, some nice action happening here. Yeah. Oh, and ooh, I got an assist. All right, so this guy uh, has some some cool abilities. Like I, I I'm a fan of the 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 180 turn here, <laughs> which is is very yeah. you know Millennium Falcon. Um, staying just ahead of this guy, it also oh, does. Oh, I'm also cruiser. gonna get out of here. Yeah, with a blink one. jump. Oh, actually, the sound is rockets oh. coming in. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much their more. ability number three would be would have come in handy, which is like a laser defense ability. You could also pull up your shields, deflect those missiles, or use your defensive ability. Abilities are interchangeable, so you don't necessarily need to bring a defensive ability. Then you just use your shields. Right, uh, and uh, you can also change your your um, your energy focus. Right. Mm -hmm. so so on, your, on the right side, you see an energy bar going down when you pull up your shields. Okay. So it's a constant management of, okay, do I need this energy to actually get away from the battle or get into the battle, put it on the weapon focus, um, use it to actually increase my speed, get out of there again. Especially with this class, it's important to get out of battles again because right. it doesn't take a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking game. Thank you. Uh, this, this, is, this is Unreal 4, right? Yeah, it is. I'm going to do an, a uh, torpedo run here. Jump, jump. Oh, oh, jump, jump, jump. Do it. There we go. Yay. Yes, and now hit three. Three. What did that do? That's actually your defensive laser ability. So that's oh. shooting down the missiles that are coming in targeted. Oh, nice. That was lucky. <laughs> uh oh No, so actually, it was very well played. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I was lucky I pushed the button oh, fast enough. Oh, oh, almost down, almost down. Pull up shields. Oh. <laughs> I still have much to learn. <laughs> yeah. So but if you hit C now, you can actually switch to a different ship. So okay, yeah, let's try out. Let's go from the little one to the big one. Yeah, exactly. That's the widest range of different player times that we are targeting. Yeah, so you've got you've got five classes here, mm -hmm. and they're all customizable. Yeah. So okay. I I could outfit them with with what kind of weapons? What what kind of weapons could I have on my on my dreadnought here? Oh, that's um. I mean, if you jump in now. How do I do that? Uh, <laughs> with oh, sorry, hit space. Okay, there <laughs> we go. So. In the upper section of the screen, you see the four abilities that are currently the preset for this class. Those abilities will be fully customizable. So at the moment, you have the tactical nuke. You see the green icon coming up. It's a mid to long range weapon that actually is designed to scatter enemy formations. Uh -huh. uh, so area of effect. On the right side, like if you target this one again, like okay. the, yeah. then hit four, and then you'll basically close in, do a warp jump that brings you close to it. You can then combo that with ability number two. Uh -huh. Which is there like is your broadside. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. All right. Use it. Let's hit Use it. Him. No. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And that's a very you know kind of Battlestar Galactica esque volley of yeah. of fire. Exactly. But he is actually being uh, healed by the tactic cruiser that's somewhere to the right. That's oh, now also targeting him? you. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, yeah. Should I nuke him? Uh, hit. I think I should nuke him. Yeah, you should nuke him. Let's nuke him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Always a good idea. Broadside <laughs> range. Broadside after that. Oops. Then switch hit Q to switch to your secondary weapon. He should Q. be close enough to that. All right. So I got some flak. 
Seems like a good uh, anti-fighter gun. Yeah, exactly. For smaller targets, it's perfect. Reloading at the moment. Yeah, now he's taken down. Uh, did uh, he shoot down my nuke? Uh, actually, the tactical nuke is more designed if people are close to the ground. Okay. Like if he actually moves and is higher up, it's probably going to miss it, uh, miss him. Uh -huh. And then create an area effect. Oh, there's like all the debris coming down from the one that you just <laughs> shot down. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the. <laughs> oh, I love those explosions. Yeah, all still pre-alpha. I, I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're uh, you're off to a good actually start. You're, actually, you're now shooting at your friend. Oh, am I? Co continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue friendly red enemy. Uh, <laughs> actually, at the moment, yeah, 60 to 40. So you're doing okay. That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. Uh, I'm I'm sure he took no offense. Yeah, with that. he he was okay with that. Didn't I, see anything. I see a spaceship, I shoot it. That's just what I do. Yeah, well, fair enough. So this is an enemy enemy dreadnought here. Yeah, uh, but uh. if you attack him now while it's being supported by oh the yeah, support he's cruiser, um, yeah, again, he's too close to you. Ability 2 is ready. Punch in the broadside. That's going to do some good damage. Yeah, nice. Now he's out of range of your secondary weapon. So but you can still jump close to him if you want to. All right. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to turn. Which and turning this thing is a, oh you, you got blown up nice, that's yeah, even better yes. focusing fire from from your teammates all right oh incoming missiles oh what do I push um, pull up shields you don't have shields any. there it is. oh oh I stop some of it yeah exactly like there's all a right a soul targeting you jump over to that one I would say and that's a one and then uh, four four okay and then you can focus fire with the other red one that just jumped in so there's a lot of interplay between the classes and how you connect I'm pretty sure that happened on Battlestar Galactica a few times <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you really get a sense of, of controlling a, a heavy-duty ship out of this yeah. um, activate your like with three you can activate your auto turrets all right which is an area of effect a like close perimeter oh he bailed oh, ouch so you you have uh, it's the the mode we're playing here is is pretty much a straightforward yeah it's uh, a straightforward mode slug fest yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. do you have do you have different kinds of modes yeah um, the way it went was we wanted to do something more complex in the beginning and then found out that we didn't know enough about our own game to actually do a more <laughs> complex back mode mm -hmm. so we wanted to get the battlefield yeah what you were, refer were referring to like the Battlestar Galactica kind of epic battles right first and then move from there into more complex game modes. So what we are currently working on is a team elimination game mode. Ba broadside, broadside. Broadside, there we go. Um, so only one respawn, and that turns it into a, a Much more strategic, more yeah. You got to be more, more conservative, you don't yeah, want to exactly. jump in the like middle. Basically, really stay together, uh, take care of your team setup, that you actually have a support class in there. Yeah, try um, and nuke him this time, yeah. see if I can get him. And broadside him as well. There's the nuke. Nice. But now he's actually with repair turrets. Oh, yeah. You hear oh, the rocket get my sounds? Get my shields. Pull him up. There we go. Nice. Nice block. Yeah. yeah. We're right. really going for this uh, action, counter action, blocking, and evading, docking. So it's, although the pace is relatively slow, it's still something that basically you constantly have to make decisions, but it's less twitch based, more. Oh, there I uh, go. Tactical decisions. Yeah, there you go. Mm. I do like those explosions. <laughs> and like you, they've done a, a really good job, or your art guys have done a really good job of, of uh, you know, giving the the uh, the weapons fire a really good you know sci-fi look to it. Into it. Uh, nice. You know, get get a, a nice bright uh, pulse shot, which right. I really like. And cool. the explosions, the impacts are great. Nice, thank you. And it gives it the sense of scale when they're when it's more than just a little pop. Yeah, definitely. So now I'm in, in kind of a sniper ship here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I can zoom in and just take pot shots. Yeah. So the little blue reticles where you blue reticles where oh you're okay. shooting. So you have a very narrow shooting angle angle with this one. Oh. Um, and there's your worst enemy, the Corvette. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> that was stupid of him actually. Um, oh. Yeah. yeah, that's that's why you got to use that uh, that jump ability, huh? Yeah, so say that. Yeah, get get behind uh, the artillery cruiser and then do the 180 turn, drop your torpedoes. Very nice. So why don't you play around here and I'll I'll, I'll uh, ask you questions as you as you blow up ships. Right then. So multitasking, not good at it, of course, <laughs> but let's well, try. hey, when I, when I tried to do it, I <laughs> shot my own guy. So hopefully you can't do worse than me. All right then, I'll try. Yeah, um, so you got you've got a support class, you've got a sniper class, you've got a heavy class, you've got a, a light class, and you've got a destroyer class, yeah, right? That's exactly. kind of a damage dealer. Mm -hmm. uh, wh which is your favorite to play as? 
Um, so I'm not that much of a sniper player, so the artillery cruiser not really my type of ship. Others really like it. But um, so the three favorite classes that I currently have is the Corvette when I want to like cause mayhem, play on my own. I really like playing um, the uh, support class because there you can, especially if you team up with a dreadnought, like using the dreadnought as cover, and then uh, the enemy is usually trying to shoot you. So you basically have to always keep the dreadnought between you and the shots that are incoming. And I also really like playing the dreadnought because I just like the combo of jumping in and then using broadsides. So let's see what we have as I set up. Random, actually, the destroyer class. Yeah, what 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 kind of uh, weapons can you equip on the destroyer class? Like, I, the, you were telling me earlier about th that these ships are very modular and that you can put on kind of whatever yeah, weapons you want. Especially on the uh, ability side. Like, we st currently we still have the. Yeah, I'll start with the Corvette. Cause a bit of mayhem. Um, so currently we keep the primary weapon fixed because there will be multiple ships within each class. So there's like those five classes then have multiple um, other ships within the class that kind of fulfill the same role. And to keep their character and identity, we wanted to get the primary weapon fixed. But all the ability modules are interchangeable between the classes, and the secondary weapon is also going to be interchangeable. There's different varieties of that. Uh, primary weapon we still have to check if we. Uh, so now the problem starts with flying and talking. <laughs> well, a again, let's it's let's very let's important for uh, targeting the appropriate, yeah. the appropriate ship, and not uh, not friendly, not firing on your friendly. This one is actually a bit too big for me, so I'll try to drop behind cover and then come back with the. So I, I've turn. How have you balanced it so that so that like if one team took all dreadnoughts and one team took all corvettes? Uh, it wouldn't be a slaughter, or would it? Yeah, no, it actually would work. Like um, we're constantly doing that. Like you can actually take down if you if you have like multiple corvettes, and they are um, coordinating their whoa, coordinating their attack. Um, you can actually take down dreadnoughts with the corvette. Like mm -hmm. it's still balanced. So we've been like we switched to Unreal Four. Um, whoa, no. <laughs> um, we switched to Unreal Four. June last year, when we started prototyping, and uh, since then we've been like running a, a build and prototype, and since then we've been balancing. So it's already this dreadnought is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Looks like he's hurting though. Oh, yeah. oh, almost got him. Okay, <laughs> I, have, I have to have a word with them. This is impossible. Okay. So wha Let's why see. did why did you decide to to have most of the combat take place in atmosphere instead of like these are spaceships and like Battlestar Galactica takes place in space? There was that <laughs> there was a one time they went to the atmosphere, but for the most part, uh, these ships are are something you would see uh, like in space. Yeah, definitely. Um, so the the most obvious reason for us was that we could have like we could create a greater variety with it. So space is super interesting. You can do um, like spaceship graveyards and like ist asteroid fields and all that. But if you want to have something that's cover based, where you're actually using the environment, um, you run out of options relatively quickly. Also, it's a nice twist. Like you, you oof. oof! What am I doing here? <laughs> so yeah, uh, hit the emergency repair. Um, Activate the turrets. Turrets are uh, an area. And then activate the beam amplifier to get down this ship. So, yeah. Alright. This is looking okay. Covert coming in. So with these with these class rolls, I mean, you, you probably got some some pretty cool. Oh, that guy just warped right through that rock. That was yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice move with the Corvette to actually do that. You probably got some pretty uh, pretty good uh, team strategies going at this mm. point. Yeah, definitely. Like interplay of classes when, especially when there's communication going on between the teams, it's a bonus. It's an it's an interesting dynamic because you see a lot of a lot of class ba based games that are you know mostly shooters. Mm -hmm. um, and like a lot of that stuff would transfer over to this. I mean, like the the, the uh, dreadnought is the heavy. Yeah. So you yeah. just have uh, a bunch of people running support for their for their dreadnought. Yeah. Actually, since there's not that many games out there that focus on big spaceships, we didn't have a lot of references. And Team Fortress was actually one of the things that we really liked when it came to like progression and interplay of classes and how every class felt unique. 
in, in what it does in the game and the role that it takes in the game. So, um, yeah. Team Fortress, heavy, Dreadnought. <laughs> kind of an inspiration for us. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Going down. 40 to 40. <laughs> Those guys in Houston. Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually going to stick with the support for a while. So you guys are going to be going into closed beta at the end of this year? Uh, or closed, beginning of next? Closed beta is going to be beginning of next. Um, kind of a initial friends and family type. We're probably going to go into this year. But yeah, well, op starting to open it up is beginning of next year. Great. Yeah, that's, that's not too far off. Nah, yeah, true. It's, <laughs> it's getting busy. But 20, 2015 <laughs> is almost here. Yeah, definitely. Frightening how fast that goes, right? But yeah, and this this game, you know, based on what I played right now, like it's it seems pretty solid already. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking yeah. forward to yeah. jumping into this. Like it, it seems like, uh, you know, like you said, like there haven't been a lot of space games or a lot of spaceship games that at least ones that focus on like a big heavy hitting ship. Exactly. Um, and you know that's that seems to be changing. I really like the trend of like, hey, now we've got Star Citizen, we've got uh, Elite Dangerous, we've got a bunch of uh, like there are a couple a couple of. Um, of uh, strategy games that have been announced as well, like Ga Galactic Civilizations 3. Um, and uh, I forgot what the other one was announced just the other day. But uh, but there's just like a, a big resurgence of, of big spaceship games, which, you know, for me is, is like candy. I love it. Yeah, same for us. <laughs> so yeah, 20, 2015 good, is going to be a great year for that. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Looking forward to it. So, yeah, keep an eye on IGN for more on Dreadnought. Uh, we will be keeping an eye on it. Uh, so, yeah, thanks a lot for dropping by. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the invite. Yeah. Cool. And Thank this you. is Dreadnought. This is Dreadnought.